Hi everyone! Welcome back to another discussion. This time, sa pinakasuki na... Hi everyone! Welcome back to another discussion. This time, pag-uusapan natin yung pinakasuki sa board exam, guys. The nursing research. And the common board exam questions that goes along with it. Kaya, tara! If you're new here, your subscription to my channel would really motivate me to make more videos, guys. At para na rin ma-recommend siya sa lahat ng mga student nurses who needed my help. Without further ado, let's go! Okay, the first tanong. What's the first thing to do in research? Ano kaya yung unang nating gagawin? The answer is, choose a problem related to a phenomenon. Yun. So dito sa research guys, if problematic ka na tao, maganda yan. Kasi unang-unang mo talagang hahanapin is yung problema. Kasi pag walang problema, walang tulusyon. <laughs> Next, what are the characteristics of a scientific research? Dalawa lang yan guys. Yung sagot dito is, they are both systematic and exploratory. Pag sinabing systematic guys, the study must follow a step-by-step -step procedure. Systematic, may sistema, step-by-step. -step. Pag sinabi namang exploratory in nature, 50% of the answer is already known. Pag-aaralan mo lang siya ulit para ma-explore mo naman yung ibang aspects of the study. And also, to update na rin yung mga tao na noong 2006, ganito yung study, ganito pa rin ba siya? Ngayong 2024. Ganon, parang in-update-update update na lang. Next, what's the main purpose of nursing research? Bakit ba tayo gumagawa ng research sa third year natin? Yung sagot, to improve quality of patient care. Actually guys ha, if ipopursue nyo talaga yung research guys, may pera dito. Honestly, may pera sa nursing research. The main contribution of research towards the improvement of nursing profession is the answer to provide scientific basis for nursing care. Gabi no, it's always nursing care and taking care of our patients. Bakit tayo nagkakandak ng research? Tandaan yan. Next, these are the correct sequences to follow when doing a research. Number one, lag, balik tayo dun sa number one na question, always formulate a problem information. Siyempre, minsan guys, may mga study tayo na sobrang hirap siya hanapin kasi hindi naman talaga siya problema. So you can start identifying a problem right now. If hindi ka pa third year, if nagbabala ka pa lang mag third year, you know, formulate ka na ng mga problems sa society natin. So that is number one. Maghanap ka ng problema. Number two, i-review ang related literature. Ibig sabihin, maghanap ka ng mga studies na nag-study na ng problem na yan. Halimbawa, yung very common is tuberculosis. Gasgas na gasgas na yan. <laughs> yung research na yan. Pero, marami pa rin nag-study niyan, di ba? Kasi, actually, marami ka namang pwedeng i-explore dyan. Pwede mong i-study yung TB sa mga adults. Pwede mong i-study yung mga TB sa mga bata. You know, pwede nga rin very specific ka, ano eh, TB sa mga transgender, mga ganyan-ganyan. So, actually marami siya. Maraming information na to yung TB. Siguro 1997, siguro meron pa niyan. Or kahit kapanahonan ni Nightingale, may mga research na lang ganito. So, maghanap ka. That is step number two. Find re related literature. Number three, determine research design. Ano ba yung research design? Simple lang. Do you want your study to be qualitative, quali, or quanti, or experimental, or ethnography? You know, dito ka na mag... Paano mo siya i-approach? Paano mo i-design yung study mo? Paano ka mag-collect ng data? Ganyan, ganyan. Number four, of course, kung may data ka na through your research design, halimbawa, nag-interview kayo or quali yung study nyo, you have to analyze data. You no? Know? I-analyze mo yung findings ng research mo. That is the fourth step. And number five, make conclusions and recommendations. Okay, that is the process. Actually, marami pa to guys. Pero, this is the summarized, no? 
paglalabas na sa burn exam. At least alam mo na yung summary. Next, what is the first thing to do to secure when obtaining all data needed in the study? Pag sinabing to secure, it's always the consent. No? Dapat alam ng participant kung ano yung research, kung para saan to, kung lalabas ba yung pangalan nila, kung ilang months ba sila i-interviewin, o mga ganyan-ganyan. Dapat alam niya ng pasyente at inidiscuss yan sa consent. So, punta na tayo guys sa very medyo may kahirapan, no? may kahirapan na topic, the hypothesis. Pero, I will explain it in a very simple way na maiintindihan mo talaga. You will master here. Mga mag- Basta, promise guys. So guys, hypothesis, hypothesis is the plural of hypothesis. Okay? So ano ba yung hypothesis na yan? Hypothesis guys, very simple, straightforward na sagot. It's just a prediction. Hula mo or a tentative answer. Ito yung hula mo kung ano ba talaga yung study mo. It's just a hula. Hypothesis is just a hula, hindi siya yung conclusion, di ba? At kailangan natin yan kasi para matest natin kung tama ba yung hypothesis natin or hindi. Very important yan. What is variables? Ito, dumadami talaga to sa board exam, lumalabas to. So da- dapat master na natin kung ano yung variables na yan. So a variable, what is a variable? Is an object. It could be an event idea, feeling, time period, or any type of category you are trying to measure. Basta minimeasure, variable ang tawag dyan. No? There are two types of variables. Very sikat, very popular, independent variable, and dependent variable. Dito na papasok, guys. And I will teach you a very simple technique kung paano lang malalaman kung alin ba dito yung independent and dependent variable. Independent variable, guys. Just like its name, independent, it can stand alone. Miss independent isn't changed by other variables. So, nursing research, guys, pag sinabing independent variable, it is something that is being manipulated. Sa cause and effect, ito yung cause. Nakaka-apekto ito sa dependent variable. Usually, These are race, time, age, socioeconomic status, gender, and education. Usually lang ha, pero not all the time. Magbibigay ako ng examples. Okay. Give me the ended independent variable in this statement. The time spent studying and its relationship to your test score. Guys, alin dito yung factor na being manipulated and the cause. Okay. If you said, so, Kuya, the time spent studying is the independent variable, then you are correct. Correct. <laughs> the time spent studying is the independent variable. Bakit? Because it can affect the test score. This is something na minamanipulate. The test score is the dependent variable. Kasi, nakadepende siya sa oras ng pag-aaral mo. Guys, kung ilologic natin to ha, si test score ba nakaka siya sa time? Hindi. It will never change. Kahit ano pang taas or baba ng test score mo, hindi yung mababago ang time. Kasi time is precious. Hindi. <laughs> time is cannot be affected. Ang time, palagi yan. Pero yung time, pwede siyang maka sa scores mo. Kung nag-aaral ka ng mabilis or kahit hindi ka nag-aaral, syempre expect na mababa yung score mo. If nag-aaral ka na matagal and it's very effective, of course, tataas yung score mo. Klaro ba guys? Klaro yan. You know? Independent, it's the cause. Next, dependent variable. Of course, it's the opposite. It's depend on other factors. So, cause and effect, it's the effect. Ito yung resulta. Let's have an example, guys. Okay. Give me the dependent variable in this statement. If you eat more vegetables, you will lose weight. Alin dito yung dependent? If you answer losing weight, then you are correct. 
Kasi, when you eat more vegetables, you will lose more weight. Losing weight is the effect of the cause, which is eating more vegetables. Diba? Kasi yung pag-lose weight mo, hindi naman siya makaka-apek sa pagkain mo ng vegetables. Kasi it's always eating the vegetables will make you healthy and will help you lose weight. That is the dependent and independent variable. Claro ba guys? Claro yan. Then, balik na tayo guys sa hypothesis. Maraming types of hypothesis and very, very straightforward lang siya. Very easy to understand. Number one, we have the null or statistical hypothesis. Any statement that has no relationship or difference between one variable to another single variable. Null, null, no. Keyword is no. Example na lang. There is no difference regarding the professional opportunities of Filipino nurses working in the Philippines from those working abroad. Very easy lang to guys to spot kasi of the word no or not. Number two, we have simple or operational hypothesis. States that the anticipated relationship or difference between one independent variable to another single dependent variable. Guys, it's very simple kasi isa lang. Isa lang ang variable na compare nila. Tandaan, pag simple lang, if you're simpleng tao, isa lang ang mamahalin mo. Charot. Halimbawa na lang guys, Filipino nurses working abroad have more professional growth opportunities than those working in the Philippines. Isa lang yung kinocompare niya. You know? Isa lang yung topic of choice nila, which is professional growth and Filipino nurses working abroad. So guys, tanongin ko kayo, alin dito yung independent and dependent variable? Independent una. What is the independent variable here? Kung sinabi mo ang independent variable is Filipino nurses working abroad, then you are correct. It is something that is being manipulated. Ang professional growth opportunities is the effect that is the dependent variable. If you're right here, then ready ready ka na for the bar exam. Next, we have complex hypothesis. This is the opposite of simple. Alam niyo kung bakit? Because, oh, between two or more variables, relationship or difference between two or more variables. Napakadami niya, guys. Napaka-complex niya kasi ang dami niya. Halimbawa na lang, statement na to. Filipino nurses who worked five years and passed CGFNS TOEFL, TSE, and NCLEX have greater opportunities to acquire immigrant visas, higher starting salaries, insurance benefits, and study grants. Napakadami. Napakadaming variables, guys. Sige, tatanungin kita, alin dito yung independent variables? Kung sinabi mong Filipino nurses who work five years and pass CGFNS, TOEFL, TSE, and NCLEX, then you are co correct. No? Tingnan nyo, guys, ang daming... Ang daming variables, guys. May past CGFNS, may TOFLE, TOEFL, TSE pa, may NCLEX pa. Tapos kinocompare siya sa, sa opportunities to acquire immigrant visa, salary, insurance benefits, talagang like Ang daming variables. So that's why it's called complex. Napakadami. Kagarot. The last, no, not the last. The fourth one is the directional hypothesis. Directional, from the word itself, may direksyon yung relasyon. Hindi situationship. This is not a situationship. This is a direct relasyon. Alam na alam mo kung ano yung intention niya sa'yo. Halimbawa na lang, Filipino nurses working in the USA have more professional opportunities than those working in the Philippines. Bakit siya directional, guys? Keyword, have more. My direction. Alam mo na more. Claro. Have more. Diba? 
klaro yung relasyon. Ah, okay, more yan pag sa US. Keywords lang yan, guys, ha? Other w- keywords na pwede gamitin sa directional is greater than, more than, higher, lower, less than, different, beyond, exceeds, below, above. Merong hierarchy. Alam mo na talaga ay below, ay mababa, ay mataas, gano'n. Directional yan. Kung klaro, hindi na paligoy-ligoy, ba? Diba? Ito naman yung opposite ni non-directional. Si non-directional only predicts the relationship but has no specific direction between variables. Ito yung parang, ano, yung mga tao sa buhay mo na nandyan lang for the convenience pero hindi ka naman pala ganun ka seryoso sa'yo. ba? Diba? And you have to get rid of that person. Kasi wala lang. You don't deserve that person. Okay? Example na lang sa statement na to guys. Oh. There is a big difference between a Filipino nurse working in the USA and those working in the Philippines. Ano klaseng difference? Big difference? Ano yun? Ano klaseng big difference? Big difference na mababa or big difference na mataas? ba? Diba? Hindi mo magigets na, ay, ang laki niyan, ang laki ng pinagbago niya. Like, anong pinagbago? Sa kasamaan or sa kagandahan? ba? Diba? So, dapat maging straightforward. Ito yung example ng non-directional. Diba? Example din ng mga keywords ng non-directional, yung hindi mo alam ko ano yung ibig niya sabihin. No? Associates with, relate to, correlates, has an effect on, impacts, influences, is associated with, is related to, shows a relationship with, is connected to. Hindi mo alam kung mataas or mababa kasi para ang vague niya. That is a non-directional hypothesis. Additional question, in the process of doing research, The researcher is very careful not to di- disclose the name of her subjects. Ang tawag dito, guys, is anonymity. Anonymous, hindi alam. Guys, in many cases, kahit mismo yung researcher, hindi nila alam yung mga pangalan ng mga participants. That is anon- anonymity. Iba-iba sila ni confidentiality kasi si confidentiality naman, Bawal mo sabihin kung sino yung participant sa ibang tao. Pero kayo na researcher, kilala nyo. ba? Diba? So, anonymous, kahit yung mismo yung researcher, hindi nila kilala. Next, who owns the information and the records or chart? It's the patient. Keyword, information. Basta yung information sa chart, galing yan sa pasyente. Ang pasyente, yung may-ari niyan. What if the patient died? Who will own the records? Hospital. Who is legally allowed to explain the diagnosis, prognosis, treatment, etc.? It's only the physician. Kaya alam nyo guys, minsan pag may nagtatanong sa akin, di ba nurse ka, ano yung masasabi mo dito sa mga pikos-pikos na yan? And I try to explain somehow like yung mga symptoms at kung paano, but it's not my jurisdiction to explain it. <laughs> Siguro, paano lang mag-manage, pero hindi yung Sasabihin ko, ah, baka may picos ka, ito yung gamot na para sa'yo. Di ba kasi as nurses, ginaganon-ganon tayo? Parang pati gamot tayo yung in charge. No, that's not our job. It's the physician's job. So, ang mga sabihin mo, yeah, I can recommend you to go to the physician, mga ganyan-ganyan. And that's it, nurses. I hope may natutunan ka today. And if you do, please share this video and subscribe na rin sa channel ko if you want more of these kinds of videos. God bless nurses, and I know you will pass the board exam. Bye!